So you've received closing figures from a lender and you see this item called tax prorations. You're not quite sure what they are. Have you ever wondered how property taxes affect mortgage closing costs? Property tax prorations are adjustments that you make at closing to fairly divide the property taxes paid between the buyer and the seller. That way, we ensure that each party pays their share of the property taxes based on the time that they own the property. To calculate property tax prorations, you need to determine the annual property tax amounts. Then you divide that amount by the number of days in the year. You multiply that by the daily tax rate based on the number of days that you occupy and the seller occupies then the amount that results is how much you have to pay at closing or sometimes receive. In some situations where property taxes are paid in advance, the buyer has to pay the seller back. In other instances, the seller pays the buyer back at closing when taxes are paid in arrears. Then there are situations where taxes are paid by calendar and the adjustment can sometimes be something back to the buyer from the seller or something paid to the seller from the buyer. Understanding property tax prorations is essential because they can affect the amount of money that a buyer needs to bring to closing. By discussing this with your real estate agent or mortgage professional, you can ensure transparency and avoid any surprises. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more information and financial tips. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. See you next time.